Welcome back guys, crypto for Light channel. Today we'd like to show you the updates for GMX USDT trade and periods my custom indicator set. Let's dive in. First of all, guys, I highly recommend to not skip the post because of the main bull run plan for GMX. I posted at the beginning of December, somewhere in three. Basically, all targets relevant that time when we hype it. I mark it in the video at $55, $50. We can drop once again to from a wall around $20 or even lower. Unfortunately, uh, this VIP absolutely still relevant. I would like to just a little bit adjust uh, FIP and I would like to explain you why. So we traded here at the beginning of December. We drop, bounce again, sweep all that liquidity pools and collapse it down here. First of all, 222 and uh, even 217. I would like to adjust that FIP. So it's initiation accumulation pump model. You know how to work with that uh, model. So this is what I missed in the first video. So based on the rules, we use the body close. This one open and close. Uh, so based on that FIP, uh, like you see, uh, still, still in play. Since October 22, uh, the same FIP absolutely relevant. And unfortunately, guys, why unfortunately? Because uh, we can see one more drop. I hope we will not see that drop, one more capitulation, because um, usually, you know, when the Fed announced the rate cuts, you know, we saw the last big dump on S&P 500. I hope we will not see that time. And I hope, yes, S&P 500 can dump, but I hope the crypto uh, will perform pretty well with Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs, right? But uh, just in case, uh, this fee be relevant and the targets like $11 and $15 still possible. Unfortunately, guys, unfortunately, of course, I don't want to see that targets, but uh, based on that fee, uh, listing, uh, Correction to 0 0.5. Uh, this is okay zone to buy between 22.64, 2799. We can we bounce it to $91. And I think the GMX will hit over then hundred dollar this cycle. Uh, then we dump it again to almost 0 0.5 level FIP and reject it one, two times at 27 blocks. So this block it's uh, for swing trades, more than okay to fix the profit. So the capitulation once again for GMX is here. So eleven sixty five, a fifteen dollar. I hope will not drop to that targets. I hope we already found the bottom here. This one, uh, like seventeen dollar forty three. So I hope, I hope. But uh, time will show us. And I would like to show you this indicator set. What's going on uh, now with the whales position? So the targets uh, over then a hundred dollar. Why it's possible? Because uh, first of all, this is a Dax platform, and uh, take a look. This is circulation supply nine. Uh, less than 10 million right market cap 321 million mar uh, market cap at this current moment highest point of the market cap was 772 so the like always comparison between the uh coins and the meme coins so uh, if the dog we've had can hit 4 billion market cap why the gmx can't hit 1 billion market cap so $200 for gmx is going to be less than 2 billion market cap still less than 2 billion market cap and 300 is going to be 2.9 billion market cap. So more than real to see that targets, guys. Now, of course, we can't know are this was a top uh, or this is what the end of correction. But uh, just in case, uh, this block, you can use the DCA uh, strategy 27, 22, 15, 11. Invalidation of that strategy if we dump lower than the listing price. Targets based on that FIP. You can find out 124, 169. So it's conservative price target for that coin. If we uh, count, I'm not count the listing price on uh, Gate.io, but take a look from that low, uh, like 1740. So $169, it's uh, only 874% gains. So not a big deal, right, for the altcoin season. That's why, guys, all targets relevant. And uh, yes, I truly believe the... GMX can perform pretty well, and uh, maybe even the DVDX. Why I'm laughing? Because uh, we talk about the DVDX a long time period, and this is so annoying talking, which lay down at the bottom more than, I guess, two years now, just in the range of $3, $1 range. So it's kind of weird, right? With all updates, with the uh, own chain, right? Uh, with own talking. So this is kind of weird, personal for me. That's why, guys, I highly recommend you go and check the main bull run plan for the GMX. And uh, if you 
bought it here, for example, euro now uh, could be in just a local trade like uh, 65%. Got it. So you follow that plan. ADZ direction. All that time period, it was distribution. Distribution, this was accumulation. So once again, the crazy scenario, we can uh, trade a few months more here, drop again to that low and form the warranty on uh, uh, weekly time frame. So it's going to be bad, right? And no signals on direction on uh, weekly time frame. Got it. Uh, market mode. All that time period when you see the gray zones, it's a capitulation zone. After that, usually we get a some small, smaller or a bigger bounce. So drop, bounce, drop, capitulation, bounce, drop, bounce, drop, bounce. Is it a bounce, the last one, or we will see another one? Only time will show us. So now we're just in a hope zone. So of course, this is not a uh, like capitulation. No, of course, we already bounced like 100%. So uh, if you just uh, use that assets for swing trades, you could already withdraw initial deposits or, or took a 100% profit. Uh, money power, weekly time frame. Here was a money outflow, money inflow, money inflow. So it's kind of good because the way I accumulate that token for a long run. Uh, here is a MACD bullish divergency. I would like to see, of course, the money inflow. So let's add alert. Uh, money inflow on a weekly time frame. Got it. Uh, and of course, this is not a money outflow now. Uh, trade on. Trade on on a weekly. No data. Uh, daily, of course, is for swing trades and intraday trades. So it was a buy, sell, drop, buy back, bounce. Close all shorts here. Uh, buy. Uh, we got to take profit now from that buy. Uh, but still no signal to sell. Let's add alert also to see the sell. Sell signal. Uh, on a daily time frame, it will be only on a daily. And the uh, last indicator is take profit. Take profit here in um, December at the beginning. I showed you uh, why we should drop to the buy line, to the formal value of the token line. So here was the beginning of uh, December. We test it, take profit, test it again, and collapse it down. Exactly uh, tested the formal value of the token. Now we drop it down again, the bounce from the almost at the buy line, a little bit lower, right? And uh, one more capitulation, it can be like this one, drop to the formal wall of the token. At this current moment, it's $14.63. I hope we'll not drop that low. So the bad case scenario, if we'll see something like this. Why it's bad? Because we just wasted the time. So uh, buy line at this current moment on a daily, it's 1937. Take profit from that trade. It's uh, 38.70, exit line it's uh, 43.62, and for my volume 16.43. So all targets I showed you, all zones I showed you, and the uh, zone where to fix profit I showed you. Guys, I hope you like this video, this updates for GMX, right? Please in the comment, what is your entry for GMX if you accumulate that token, and what is your plan to out of that token. If you would like to trade with my customer, I said what I showed in this video, just write me DM, subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button, don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time.